you guys are coming up on the end of revival, right? You kind of have a finish line. I don't know, it sounds to me like you're kind of winging it. <laughs> no, no. We, we, uh, we, we knew exactly how it was going to end from the beginning. We just didn't know how long it was going to take to get there. Yeah. We had actually planned on it being like 60 issues. And once we hit a point, we were like, this is going to go downhill really fast. And if we kind of stretch it out, it's going to feel like those last seasons of Lost, and we don't want to do that. <laughs> So it ended up being 47 issues. Yeah, the last four, we had this, this thing happening, and we, but we also have all these threads that we need to wrap up. So it's just more of a juggling act than it is a uh, how do we end this thing? Because we know that part. It's just, it's, it's, it's project management more than it is actual writing. I definitely think. I think you should just fade to black and let the audience figure it out for themselves. The readers. You know what? I like that in certain projects. <laughs> oh, that's hey, that's how's it going? Great, thanks. It's cool to have the whole team here. Yeah. You wouldn't mind signing these more, please. Huge fan of your covers, especially on this series. I think, uh, along with the story and the interior art, they're, they're just as much of a drive. You know, all that. Cool. Thank you so much. Was that always a goal for you, doing covers, or did you just kind of fall? That was exactly my goal. Yeah. It was all I wanted to do. I did not want to ever do any of the insides. Is there a reason for that? All of the same stuff goes into cover as goes into the inside. It's just in different uh, percentages. Mm -hmm. And on the inside, the most important thing is storytelling. And on the cover, really the most important thing is then it, you know, pulls, like makes people want to pick it up. Yeah, it's eye catching. And I don't like storytelling, but I like just making something that people have a reaction to. And it must be nice to be able to focus on one like. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I always try to just make it. I even like I hate doing team books because I'm like. Oh, to like split the focus amongst a bunch of different people. I just really wanted to have like one thing that, that's all I want to draw basically. Yeah. And it's a lot easier to draw whatever you want to draw on the inside you have to follow the script. So. That's true, yeah. You have a lot more freedom. Yeah. He's gonna go down and say hi to Bernie for a quick second. We're on a first name basis. Mr. Wrightson, how are you sir? Hi. Um, thanks for coming to Boston. Cool. Where did you get a hardcover? They, it came out recently because they, they they celebrated the 30th anniversary, I believe, of the original. Um, and I didn't realize it, but within it are some of your conceptual sketches. So, Ghostbusters being one of my favorite movies. That was my first movie. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, if you wouldn't mind signing right nearby, I think this is a trip. Uh, I think it's this part right here and then this one as well. A lot of my friends that uh, aren't from Massachusetts are, are jealous that I'm getting to meet you right now. So. Would you mind sending this page as well? Sorry if, if I'm not asking too much. No, I can I can definitely see the influence your uh, your concepts had on the original final finished product. So it all came together to be one of the greatest, one of my favorite movies of all time. So. Oh, me too. You know, I can still watch it and laugh. You know, it's uh, it's so funny. It's also so smart. Yeah, no, it smart definitely apps, is. You yeah, know? yeah, I love that. Did you uh, did you happen to see the new one or? Not yet, not yet. I'm excited. I want to see it. Yeah, no, it, it's it's not bad. I mean, it, it's really it's obviously this set the bar so high. You know, there's yeah. no way it's ever gonna. It's not fair to compare it in a way. Right. Um, right. 
but uh, it wasn't as bad. I know it, you know it's kind of a polarizing movie, but I think it's worth your worth your I'm time. Looking forward to it. You know, we saw uh, we saw the new Star Wars movie about ten times. You know, yeah. I love that. No, that was definitely entertaining. Yeah. Um, awesome. Well, thanks again. I really okay, appreciate meeting you. I'm back. Has anyone ever not come back for a sketch request? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, it's only like a handful of people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of people will take money up front because of that. Yeah. Yeah, I was, th I was thinking of offering because I had to kind of walk around a little bit. Well, I mean, I, I don't usually just because... I've also had situations where I haven't been able to get to the sketch and then I feel bad. Um, I think I'll probably get to sleep. This is okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little damn. No, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That came out perfect, thank you. So after revival, what do I gotta move on to from, from your end? Um I'll be I'm doing I'm still doing Archer and Armstrong until uh, at least issue twelve. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Actually, now that's the first time I've actually had to think about what I was going to do. I, I hope I didn't put fear into your heart no, with that no, question. Uh, I'll have something <laughs> to do. Um, I have some. some uh, I'm, I'm working on Sha with Sean McKeever on something, I'm working with Phil Hester on something. Uh, I've got lots of uh, ideas floating out there. Nothing has a publisher. Okay. I'll be busy. I just don't know what it is. All right. Well, good enough. I'll be on the lookout for it. Thanks, Mr. Wolfman. Thanks for coming to Boston. My pleasure. I'm sure no one ever puts that in front of you. Never. <laughs> it's kind of a little-known book. That's why I even have a poster. <laughs> Uh, your your work is timeless. It, it really is, and I really enjoyed reading it over the years. And catching up with it too. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Lee. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Thank you. Welcome to Boston. Thank you. Would you mind signing that for me, please? I wanted to ask you. Yes. I, I'm a huge fan of the, the the paneling in this in this book, as far as the, the storytelling with the circles and. Uh, was there like a is there a reasoning behind the kind of that layout or just... Um, I needed a way to distinguish the flashbacks from the present day scenes uh, without relying on making the colors faded or something because... Something a little more traditional. Like percent of it is flashbacks. Yeah. So um, I just thought every, panel, every page of the flashback I draw circles. I didn't even I didn't even make that connection yeah. that that the, the kind of corresponded with flashbacks. It sounds really stupid, but O oh, for Ozzy Mendes. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> if it was comedian, I'd be drawing C panels. <laughs> That's awesome. No, I, I really yeah I really enjoyed the, the layout of this book, and it, it definitely thank drew you. me further into the the storyline. So, thank you, I appreciate it. Actually, I might be going to see it this week. Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, could you do something with this, you think? Yeah. Put your spin on it, obviously. We'll make it adorable. That's probably one way he hasn't been drawn, so be unique. It's from an uh, old video game back when uh, it was on Genesis. It's called Fantasy Star. Uh, he's Dark Force. He's pretty much the, the main bad guy. Haunts, 
haunts our heroes for generations. I had a Sega Genesis. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't happen very often where I'm asked to draw something that I've never seen. <laughs> I like to come up with unique requests. Usually when it happens, it's a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> you have a very unique thing. Yeah, I'm actually trying to find someone to do a more detailed piece, but I'm not sure. Uh, search continues. Got to find that right kind of style. Although I found when I kind of throw something at someone who, like, you wouldn't necessarily think their style matches, mm -hmm. it, they kind of come up with some great results. You need somebody that's really organic. Yeah. And you're a great oh, for, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. That'll be ten. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, how's it going? I uh, I commissioned you on Friday for an eleven. Uh, we're probably leaving like 12.30 today. Um, we're not spending too much time here. I was going to say, because I really want to do like a nice one. Yeah. Can I take it home and do it? I won't charge you yeah, any yeah. shipping right sure, now. Sure, definitely. Maybe just get the time here. Yeah, and I'd rather you take your time with it yeah, then. Yeah, because it's like I have a really cool idea and I, I need to like try to brush it. So <laughs> just draw a stick figure. Yeah. <laughs> what was your first name again? Uh, Stamadios, S-T-A. Oh, that is your first It is, yeah. Yeah, the second one's twice as long, or the last one's twice as long. Okay, what's your last name? Or spell it out. Uh, D-I. D-I. M-I. If you could just give me like a couple of weeks or something. Um, and I'll ship it out to Greco Fabulous at That's me. Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, Bye. Hello. Um, yeah, if you could just give me like a week or two. Sure. And if, you, if you're like, hey, where are you? Uh, if you want to just email me and be like, uh, I'm waiting on my commission or whatever. And, just in case I take too long or something. Or yeah, yeah, absolutely. No worries. Okay. Cool, thank you. No problem. Thanks for letting me do that. Yeah, anytime. All right. Mr. Lloyd, how are oh, you? Buddy, how are you? Good. <laughs> I completely forgot about you on Friday, and I was kicking myself, and I was like, oh, I hope he's here on Sunday. Oh, yeah, you came back and you saw all the air, and then you went about Yeah, I had my checklist. I was like, how did I miss it? Oh, okay. Um, are you you're looking for Twilight Sparkle? I know. He's a My Little Pony fan. <laughs> Oh, my little pony. Is that here? I saw someone dressed up on Friday. We're hoping we'll run into them again. Oh, okay. um, are you doing sketches? Yes, of course. Uh, a bit of mine. Uh, obviously, I'm a V for Vendetta fan, but okay, probably like everyone else you run into. Yeah, and uh, I don't know whether you heard me talking to the other folks, but uh, you get a bonus if you if you get a sketch from me. Because I'm, I'm publishing now. Mm -hmm. I think I must have told you about this. Yeah, uh, no, 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 no. Um, yeah. But it's you get. I, I give an entire introduction volume of that along with the sketch as a taste. Sure. Absolutely. You get, you get that. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll definitely check it out. Thank you. Let me give you that right now. So that all your books? That's it. Well, this is how you get it. You got that web address. Mm -hmm. Put that in as your code. You get the whole of one. Excellent. Right, thank you. All right, sounds good. Yeah. 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 It's S T A. Oh yeah, it's a it's an uncommon one. Is it S T A? S T A. M A T. M A C. Uh, T. T is in Tom. I O S. Some. I-O-S. Stamatios. Stamatios. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's a Greek name. Yeah, I was the next question I was going to ask. Have you been to Boston before? Or, or no, one of the no, conventions? I'm uh, looking forward to looking around. Uh, I've, 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 I've not done it to go straight off, so I've got, um, I've got time to look around tomorrow. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's not in and out. I've got some time to explore. Are you local here? I am. Uh, we live on the south shore, so we're about 20 miles south of here. You know, uh, one of the things I like about any any uh, place I go to is the fact that the the airport is close to the hotel. Particularly pleased to see how close it is. Oh yeah, here everything's pretty much condensed. It's not a, it's not a big uh, not a big area geographically. Everything everything's close enough. It's just traffic that makes it hard to get from place to place. You know, it's kind of ironic, isn't it? You know, you're close to things, but actually getting to them is still popping up. Yeah, because I spent uh, a year out in Colorado, and, and there, 
you know, 20 miles, you could get there in, you know, 20 minutes. Here, time of day, you could get there in two hours. It's really a world of difference. But it's all about that city life, right? Huh? It's all about that city life. It's uh, yeah, well, that's kind of a trade-off. Yeah, I like uh, I like seeing some cars together. On. I don't even drive. You know, I'm, you know, in England our transport system is very good, and um, you know, I, I can walk practically to anywhere I need to to get to. And, um, Oh yeah, absolutely. If I lived or lived and worked in the city, I would I would I don't know if I would even own a car. And they're expensive to own. I mean, that's the thing. It's always fucking me. Insurance and plus the gas and everything. Hi. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Thank you. How much do I have? Uh, Ten dollars, man. Yeah. It's a bargain. Hi. How are you? Uh, okay, thank you. And uh, you, you get. Did I give you? I gave you a card. You did, yep. Give me a card, okay. So you need a badge. It's all part of the deal. Thank and you. A badge for a little one as well. Yeah. Have you? Let's give you a pen. What? Then you want it? It's very good. It goes with anything, you know. Well, thank you. Awesome. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. Thanks a lot, buddy.